Live from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Minnesota Twins taking on the New York Yankees. Just about set to go now. And on the mound today, Michael King. What do we need to know here? He really relies on working down in the zone with that heavy sinker he's got. You know, it's not as popular to throw that pitch uh, today as it used to be because you know, guys are looking to hit balls down in the zone, get them up in the air. It's very important for him when facing same side hitters to be able to get it in, especially early in the count, and to opposite guys be able to throw it at that front hip and run it over the inside corner. Number 47, leading things off and takes a strike. Slowly on the ground to short. One out in the top of the first. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. You see the velocity, 97 with that fastball. The wind of the pitch. That one ripped, but foul. And a ball Get evens the count. That one ran inside, almost got him. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Florial under it. Makes the catch for the out. Here's Royce Lewis. That misses the zone, and that is ball one. Ball, no strikes. And he takes a strike. Kicks and fires. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Two down, nobody on. Lewis started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, did not go. The 2 2. Broken bat, roller to first. And foul ball. Next pitch is downstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Got it by him for the K. Nothing doing here for the Twins. And now the Yankees will see what they can do. No score. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back for more from the Bronx. And on the hill today, Joe Ryan. How about a report on him, Chris? 
Well, this is a guy that usually turns in a very good outing. People like playing behind him. Everyone seems to be loose, and the offense tends to get going. So, you know, you look at an opposing lineup. When they see him out there in the mound, they know that he's going to compete. They don't want to let him settle in. They want to try to knock him out, get into that bullpen before he gets real comfortable. Bottom of the first, and stepping in for the Yankees, D.J. LeMayhew. There's a strike. You know, Boo, DJ LeMayhew is one of those guys that if you're on the other side and your pitcher's got a no-hitter, he's the last guy you want to see at the plate. Just because his bat control is so good, he uses the entire field. Next offering is in for a strike. Now, just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. Line drive, and there's a base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff dive. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. Next up, it's the first-year shortstop, Anthony Volpe. First offering, and it just misses. The pitch. Swinging a foul back. That's out of play. Swings through that one. One and two. The count. Swings and misses, struck him out. You know, Boog, you often think a slider is more for that horizontal movement, but most of the good ones have both vertical depth and that horizontal movement, and that's what we saw right there. Good drop on the break and got him to swing over the top. And next is the designated hitter, Austin Wells. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Kicks and deals. And there's a the ball. ball. LeMayhew over at first with one away. Next offering is downstairs. Kyle Higashioka waiting to hit for the Yankees. The pitch. That one's in there. And it's three and one. They say you win. Back to work. 3 2 now. Lifted in the air out to left. And there's two down. So two down now, and here is Kyle Higashioka. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. And that's in there for strike one. Really good athlete, and many times we talk about, you know, the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick feet. He's able to recognize the pitch, see the trajectory, and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop. And he deals. Got him swinging. The Yanks leave one. We played an inning. No score. All set for the start of the inning. Now batting Max Kepler. 
really impressive with the way he frames, the way that he sets it up, because sometimes those pitches are off the plate, but because he sets up and presents it so well, he still strikes for his pitcher. Here comes a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Oh. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Righty to the plate. High fly ball, right field. Cabrera under this one. Makes the grab one down. Here's Carlos Correa. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out and he makes all the plays. And because of that big power arm, oh, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. Up the middle, Peraza. Jump throw. That takes yeah. care of Correa. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air, lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Ryan Jeffers at the plate. First pitch, wow. not close. That one hammered, but pulled foul. Next offering no, is down low. Second inning here, no score. That one Three way one. outside. Three balls and a strike. And a foul ball. Three two down. The right hander gives up the two out walk. Well, two out walks are never good, especially when you're trying to get back into that dugout. But he's still in a good spot. He's just got to refocus and deal with the bottom of this order. This is Willie Castro. First offering misses badly for ball one. in for a strike. Flips the corner. One and two. Back foot slider ties him up. Struck him out. One left for Minnesota. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. at Yankee Stadium. Here's the third baseman, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. And a pitch. And there's the strike. Your ball, one strike. And there's a foul ball. Field two. And that one is oh, inside. inside. Line and a base hit into right. That is good. 
So up next, Oswaldo Cabrera. Pitch out, but no action. Connor Falefa gets his lead at first with nobody out. Steel. Connor Falefa on the go. Swing and a miss. Low throw and he can't take it out. You know what? I like the aggressiveness right there. It looks like it's going to be tough to score in this one. Really good pitching so far. So why not try to put some pressure on him and see if you can steal the bag, get in the scoring position. The pitch. And yeah, that's downstairs and outside. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Swing and a miss. Two and, two the and the count is two and two. Good job to fight that one off. In the air, out towards right center. Drops into the glove. Runner tags up for third. And he makes it up to third with one away. And now the rookie second baseman, Oswald Peraza. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Fouled off left side. The pitch. Got the back going too soon at strike two. This one popped up. Polanco puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity. But competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. So digging in, Everson Pereira. First offering misses the mark. That's inside. The 2 0 is in for a strike. And the right hander deals. And that one is lifted in the air. Kepler moving under this one. Makes the grab. And that will end the inning. One left for the Yankees. We'll move to the third with no score. Top half of the third inning. Here's Donovan Solano. King back to work. Pitch misses. Ball one. One ball, no strike. And that one off the outside edge. Next offering is in the dirt. And a four-pitch walk. 
Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and the leadoff batter's on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. And here is Michael A. Taylor. And ball one. And the righty deals. That one off the mark. Two balls, no strikes to count. Way to lay off that pitch down. Next offering misses. And that's ball three. Number 47 in the on-deck circle for the Twins. Runner at first with no outs here. And the 3-0 finds the zone. Calling this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. Way out front for strike two. 3-2 on the way. Fights it off, you'll see another. On a line. Flashes the leather on the running catch. And there's one down. Back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. And here's the Twins leadoff guy, number 47. Grounded out his first time. Ball one, no strikes. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. He swings and fouls one off. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Hit hard, but foul off to the left. That one 95 to finish him off. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Now it's going to be Jorge Polanco. Hit it well, but fly it out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Wings through that. One and one. Solano, the runner at first with two gone. The one one is fouled off. Out of the left center for a line drive base hit. Solano around second, headed for third. The run scores all the way from first, and it's 1-0. Really nice job of two-strike hitting in that at-bat. Pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. Man in scoring position with two away. Royce Lewis, the next twin up to hit. Yeah. That one's in there, 0-1. Runner at second, two down. Towards first. He'll do it himself. They limit the damage here. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now 1 nothing. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show.
back at Yankee Stadium as we go to the last of the third. And now it's Esteban Florial. The wind of the pitch. There's a strike. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. And now it's DJ LeMayhew digging in. One for one. He let off the bottom of the first with a single. In there for strike one. And that one missing low. One and one. Pickoff throw. And he's back in safely. Righty delivers. There's a strike with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base trying to stay out of a double play here hacks and misses it's a strikeout now it's the shortstop Anthony Volpe definitely wants to stay out of the double play here ball on the ground in the infield should be an inning ending double play Now fly ball to right center. Taylor gliding as he moves to his left. Reaching for it. Makes the catch. Gotta love the over-the-shoulder catch. I tell you what, those are really fun to make. Austin Wells stepping in now for the Yankees. Fly to left his first time up. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. Yeah. In there, and it's on one. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. The pitch. One, two. Swing and a miss, and that is that. The Yanks leave one. They trail here, one nothing. in the Bronx. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Max Kepler. And a pitch. On the ground at first. And he picks it up That's in foul ball. territory. Way inside, gets out of the way. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. And a one-two. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Well, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two-strike pitch right there. At worst-case scenario, it's weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. Correa yeah. batting for the second time, and that's strike one.
And the pitch is outside, ball one. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. The line to kick the pitch. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Right there, does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Here's the catcher to hit. Ryan Jeffers worked to walk in his first trip to the plate. On the ground, a second might be two. There's one, and that's two. One hit in the inning, but no one left. To the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Twins one and the Yankees nothing. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, bottom of the fourth, and now Kyle Higashioka. He is at the top of the game in terms of defense at the catching spot. And here it comes. Gets the outside corner with that one. Next offering is in for a strike. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. Kicks and fires. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. And now 1-2. and two. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. And a pitch. Chases the fastball up the ladder, struck him out. Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him look it, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the plate. One for one with a single so far. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. One down, base is empty. Line drive, base hit. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And up next for New York, Oswaldo Cabrera. 0 for 1 so far. And that one almost got him. Connor Falefa leads off first with one away. Ryan throws over. Connor Falefa dives back in. And a pitch out, but no steal, and it's ball two. Out to center. Taylor gets under it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's two away. So two down now. And here is Oswald Peraza. He's over one. 
Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps, give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Yeah, there's the strike. No ball, two strikes. Two outs. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Ground ball right side, and it's just foul. That was close. Kicks and deals. In the air, right field. Kepler drifts towards it. Makes the catch. And that's the third out. One left for the Yankees. And it remains 1-0. Back now in the Bronx. We go to the top of the fifth. And now the Minnesota designated hitter, Willie Castro. The wind of the pitch. Here's a high chopper. Peraza. One up, one down. Now batting. The first baseman. Donovan Solano. And now the first baseman, Donovan Solano. He walked and came around to score his first time up. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result. He's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very well right now. Movement in the Yankees' pen. Luke Weaver getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Number 29 getting cranked up as well. The pitch. Good eye right there. In the dirt. Two balls and a strike. Right-hander kicks, deals. Look out! And it hit him. He seems to have lost a little bit of focus on executing that pitch right there, not staying through the target, and clearly not the release point he wanted. One down. Here's the center fielder, Michael A. Taylor. And the first pitch misses for ball one. This to center field. Florial has a beat on it. And yeah, there's two away. Here's the left fielder, number 47. And the first pitch misses for ball one. one -oh. And another no ball. ball. In there at the knees. Now two balls and a strike. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. The two one. They say you win. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Twins wind up stranding one, but they lead it one to nothing. here in New York now the left fielder Everson Pereira all these fans definitely want to get involved in the game all it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on the pitch and a strike in there and I know you want to be patient as a hitter but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight and he got one right there but left the bat on his shoulder the next pitch misses and now it's even one and one
Swung on, belted. That's going back. Back some more. Go! He flexes his power with that swing, and we are all tied up. It's 1-1. One, one. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Esteban Florial stepping in now for the Yankees. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Always exciting to see a laid-off home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. And it's fouled away. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. you got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Swings and misses, struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Just couldn't catch up on the low 90s fastball right there, and that's a result of a good job of changing speeds. Off-speed pitch on the one before, then sped him up. Pitchers that don't throw real hard have to rely on location and mix it up to speeds. That wasn't the best location with the fastball, but clearly that wasn't the pitch he was looking for at the plate either. Here's D.J. LeMayhew. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Here comes a pitch. Off the mark there. One ball, one strike. And now two and one after that missed inside. Next pitch is downstairs. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. Anthony Volpe waiting for a turn at the plate. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Number 47 settles under it. Pulls it down and there's two gone. The batter number 11. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. And there's a strike. Next offering is fouled back. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. But they get the out at first, and that'll do it for the inning. Solo homer ties it for the Yankees. All even at one apiece. Back after this on the show. New pitcher for the Yankees, number 63. Go ahead, run on base. Jorge Polanco getting ready to hit. Well, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. And the pitch. And that's outside. 1 and 0. Oh. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Number 50 getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. 
Number 29 getting loose as well. Runner leads away at second. That's in for a strike. Lined, and that's a base hit. Headed for the plate. Here's the throw. Not in time. He beat it, and they've got the lead. It's 2 1. Well, they didn't waste any time as they knock home the runner from second to get on the board. Huge for team confidence and how you approach the situation. Still have a guy on base, and now they'll try to add on. No outs. Runner at first. Royce Lewis, the next twin up to hit. Known for his late inning heroics. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Runner, runner, Polanco runner. on the go. Found back our way, and that's out of play. At the belt and fires. And that's a base hit. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. Back-to-back -back singles, anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Max Kepler at the plate. Yeah, that's in there for strike one. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Next offering is downstairs. First and second here, no outs. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. It's so hard to slow yourself down when you see that juicy breaking ball, but the most success happens when you try to take that right back up the middle approach. Check swing, tried to hold up. Now it appealed to third, and he went around according to Clyde Washington. And here comes Carlos Correa. He was the big part of the field last time. Nice liner to center. There's a strike. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. That missed inside, one one. and it's a ball and a strike. That one ball. missed. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on, probably a challenge pitch coming. On the ground, could be two. To second for one. Over to LeMay here. Two. So one run in the inning on this base hit, and it's now a 2-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Bottom of the sixth inning, and now the DH, Austin Wells. And he deals. And first offering is fouled off. Left hand batter waits. Fly ball down the line. That's got a chance. Wow! Ball game! A towering shot to right. And the Yankees walk it off and win it 3 2.
Hitting a walk-off homer is the kind of thing you dream about growing up. You're in the backyard, you're creating the most pressure-packed scenario, and what do you do? You come through with the big swing. Well, he was living a childhood moment right there. Nice swing of the bat, nice win for the team. Three to the final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.